So now your, uh, your, your screen is going to look something like this. This is the arrange window. You're going to have, um, ignore this last track down here. That's an audio track that I added later on. You're going to have three drummer tracks. You know they're drummer tracks because when we move our mouse pointer over each one, it says add drummer region. So we know they're drummer tracks. Plus they also have drummer icons on them. All right. And uh, ignore the fact that mine says marching snare line, marching tenor line, marching drum line, uh, marching bass drum line. Yours is probably going to have the name of your default drum kit, which is probably, it's a producer kit, and it'll probably be something like SoCal or Bluebird or something like that. All right, so we're looking at the arrange window. Uh, we want to open, we want to go ahead and open up our channel strip. And you can hit I to open up your channel strip. Ignore these strips that are over here. We're going to go down to Drum Kit Designer. We've already got, you're going to use, click on the arrow keys, make sure that it's still on multi output, which it should be. All right, so we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to tune our snare kit, our snares. We're going to open Drum Kit Designer. This is the finished project, the, or the finished product that I have. I've muted everything else. Well, except those. Okay, so if I click on this, the uh, the the um, kick drum, I'm not going to hear anything. Click on the toms, I'm not going to hear anything. Click on the the uh, cymbals, not going to hear anything. Click on the snare, and there's the snare. All right. So your snare is going to look something. It's going to look different. Um, you're going to want to tune it something similar to what I have. So as soon as you, because this is a producer kit, it's a multi-output kit, that's a producer kit. When you click on a drum kit piece, um, click on the snare. That's all we care about right now. Uh, marching snares, from what I've heard, are typically tuned up uh, kind of high and they're dampened. So they're not, they don't sound like studio uh, drum kit snares. So... Typically, when you open your when you open a default drum kit, your snare is going to sound something like this. That's not a marching snare. All right. So what I do, or what I like to do, is tune the snare all the way up and dampen it up to about maybe ninety percent, something like that. Okay. And that sounds more like a marching snare to me, anyway. So now we've got it tuned the way we want. We're going to go under view and we're going to change our view from editor to controls. This is where we mute everything we don't want it to play. Drag that out so you can see the whole thing. And you're going to mute everything in this in this kit that you do not want drummer to play and we don't want drummer to play anything but snares so we're going to mute the kick i've already done that this shows what the controls look like with everything muted hi-hats muted rides muted claps tambourine shaker go all the way down and look at the whole screen make sure that everything's muted the toms are muted yes you can leave the sticks uh, unmuted. They're not going to play anyway, but you, you, in case they do, they sound pretty good, so you can leave it unmuted. But everything else, the cymbals, all the cymbals, the toms, the kick, you want all of that muted. You're going to go here into the snare section, and you're going to pick from the, uh, the drop-down list, you're going to pick something tight like a tight maple kit or the tight uh, snare two, something like that. So I picked maple kit snare two. All right. You do have different options of different snares that you can pick. All right. So once you've got everything muted, yeah, leave your snare overheads on. You need some mics on those snares. Um, they mute everything else. You're going to go up here and save the preset. So you're going to click on the drop down arrow. Your your preset is going to say something else. It's probably going to say Bluebird or SoCal Kit or something like that. But you're going to save it. You're going to save it and call it Marching Snare Line. 
Okay. Now you're going to change your view back to the editor again. Play the snare. Make sure it sounds right. Play everything else, and you shouldn't hear anything at all. Same thing with the um, the toms, the cymbals, nothing. Just the snare. All right. Just in case you've made any changes, you want to save it again. So we're going to save that. Uh, what did I just do? Yeah, okay. Click on Save. So that's how we set up Snare. So now that we've got our Snare, Tenor, and uh, bass drum, marching bass drums, set up and tuned the way we want. Uh, you can close out of Drum Kit Designer, and we should be looking at, a, at an arrangement window that looks something like this. With your three, like, like I'm pointing to here, your three drum kits, uh, three your three drummer tracks, all right? If the channel strip is not open here on the left, it well, it will be, but if it's not, you're going to open the channel strips, and that's what you're looking at right here, all right? Ignore the fact that these uh, some of these uh, plugins are, are uh, open and running. I'll explain those later, all right? So we got those there. We're going to save this. As, we're going to make sure your, your arrangement markers are correct. Make sure your uh, tempo, uh, your time signature, and project length are correct. I'm going to save that as a template. And we call it marching drum line is fine. I already have that template anyway. Okay. So uh, we've saved our template and we're the, the next step is going to be set up uh, the drummer regions. So now that we have our marching snare tuned, set up and tuned, we're going to do the marching tenor. You're going to notice that uh, your default drum kit, which probably was named the Bluebird or SoCal or something like that, it's now going to change. After you save this, the kit, it's going to change. The track name is going to change to whatever you called your new kit so that it changed if this was Bluebird or SoCal before, now it's Marching Snare Line because we just set up a new kit. So now we're going to go down to and ignore these uh, channel strip settings here. We're going to go down and highlight the second drummer track, which again, remember, yours is going to be called something like Bluebird or SoCal or whatever. All right, so that's our second drummer track, and we're going to set it up to be a Marching Tenor Drums. Now, marching tenor drums um, are tuned uh, drums. We, uh, they're actually tuned. They usually come like four tenors and two spots, um, or five tenors, something like that, um, that are uh, in a rack that, that the uh, drummer, that the marching drummer carries. They are actually tuned to specific notes, but we can't really do that in Drum Kit Designer. So I'm just going to show you a simpler way to set up three toms and tune them to sound like marching tenors. All right, so, and it uses Drum Kit Designer. Again, you want to make sure that it's multi-out, and it is. All right, so you're going to open up Drum Kit Designer. All right, now I've already set up my toms the way I want them. You're just going to uh, come up with a default drum kit like Bluebird or SoCal or whatever. So you're going to change your view to controls. Drag this out to where you can see everything. And this time you're going to mute everything except the toms. So you're going to mute the kick, the snare, hi-hat, all the way down. Mute the ride. Um, mute everything else except the toms and the tom section is down here and in the tom section you can pick uh, um, whatever toms you want I just like the tight maple kit toms uh, they sound great all right then you're going to change your views once you sure you've got everything else muted except the toms 
you're going to change your view from controls back to editor again. Okay. All right. Now with the toms, see if you click on the kick, nothing's going to play. Click on the snare, nothing's going to play. That's fine because everything's muted. You don't want it to play. All right. So you're going to click on the toms. So you have a choice of you can you can edit or you can tune all the toms at the same time or you can tune them individually. And we're going to tune them individually. So this is what my arrow is on right now. That's a high tom, that's a mid tom, and that's a low tom. So you're going to click on high. Now your tom is not going to be tuned that high. It's going to be something like this. And that's not a marching tom. So I like to tune uh, uh, um, mar uh, marching tenor drums. Tenor drums. Tenor. Tenor means high. It's a high voice. Tenor is a high male voice, so tenor drums are also tuned high. They're higher than um, your average toms. Um, so you tune them high. So you're going to click on the high, the high, the high tom, tune it as high as you can go, and dampen it as high as you can go. And that sounds actually pretty good. Yeah, it's supposed to sound like that. It's supposed to sound high. Now you're going to click on mid. All right. This is your mid time right here. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to tune it up as high as it'll go and dampen it up to 100%. And then that's your floor time right here. Your low time. So you're going to click on low. Do the same thing. Tune it up as high as it'll go. And dampen it up to 100%. Hear how they're pitched differently? They're pitched a lot higher than ordinary toms, studio toms would be. Um, these are actually pitched closer to what real tenor, real tenor drums would sound like. Again, you can't tune these to specific notes like you should tune real marching tenors, but this actually sounds pretty close. So you can take your three toms here and tune them pretty close to what a marching tenor would sound like. All right. So you got them tuned. You've got all the other kit pieces muted like you don't like you want. You're going to click on this drop down arrow key and save the preset. And I already have mine. I called it marching tenor line. Just gonna replace that. That's fine. All right, so there's our marching tenor line. And so we've got our marching snare created, our marching tenors created, and now we're gonna create our marching bass drum. And again, so we're gonna move down to the third drummer track. Yours is gonna be called uh, SoCal or Bluebird or whatever your default drum kit is. You're going to highlight your, uh, that drummer track. Go over here, and yeah, I hate to keep being repetitive, but you want to make sure that it's always set to multi-output. So just double check, okay? All right, so then you're going to open Drum Kit Designer. And I already have my bass, my bass drum set up. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to mute everything else except the bass drum. So we're going to change our view from editor to controls, drag that out, and mute everything as you see that I've already done that here. Mute everything except the kick drum. All right, if you don't already have a kick drum loaded here, you can select your kick drums. The tight maple kit is what I like. All right. Once you're sure everything else is muted except the kick, you're going to change the, the uh, view. You can save it if you want to, or you can uh, change the view from controls back to editor again and tune it. So if you click on the toms, you're not going to hear anything, snare, all these other things you're not going to hear because they're muted.
click on the kick and you hear it. Now normally your kick is going to be, um, it's not going to be tuned and it's not going to be dampened. You don't have to tune a kick, a marching kick, a uh, marching bass drum. It's not a kick. It's a marching bass drum. You don't have to tune it that much. I personally like it tuned down a little bit lower than the stock drum. So the stock uh, bass drum sounds like that. For marching purposes, you can bring that bass down a little bit. All right, and dampen it. Normally, it's not going to be dampened at all. So, kind of want to dampen it a little bit. Let's bring it up to dampen it to about 50%, something like that. The sound that I want is I want a marching percussion sound that I would hear if I was in a gym, uh, like listening to a halftime show at a basketball game, something like that. That's what I'm after. I'm after marching because you, you can always add effects to uh, uh, to make your marching percussion line sound like it's playing outside. I am after recording purposes and I want a marching percussion line that sounds like it's being played inside. And that sounds pretty good to me. So that's my marching bass drum gonna save that preset I already have it I'm gonna save it as marching bass drum line and replace the one that's already there so now we have our snare our tenor and our marching bass drum kit set up and tuned and good to go